This spreader is our premium rotary spreader with a heavy duty large capacity hopper. It has a precision weight control panel with a number of adjustable settings for accurate coverage of our Miracle Grow Evergreen lawn treatment and grass seed products. It is suitable for large lawns over 200 square meters, paddocks or orchards. When your spreader first arrives, you'll need to assemble it. It's quick and easy to do. First, check that all parts are contained in the box. Then, lay the hopper down so it rests on its throat. Insert the two frame legs into the hopper slots. Next, place the spreader upright on its wheels. Raise the top half of the handle to the upright position and tighten the wing nuts by hand. Make sure the window in the rate control housing or micrometer is facing forward when it's upright. Your Easy Green rotary spreader is now ready to use. For easy storage, just reverse the process. Application rates can vary depending on the product, its setting and your walking speed. So it's best to time your walking speed before you apply the product. The trick is to apply the product evenly and this is based on your walking speed. For this spreader, you need to cover 1 meter per second. We would recommend that you place two canes 5 meters apart and walk between the two canes pushing the empty spreader. Practice until it takes you 5 seconds to cover the distance. Once you have mastered your walking speed, this is the speed you need to walk while supplying the product. Here are some tips to help you achieve the best results. The best method of applying products is to apply a header strip at the end of each run on which to turn. For rectangular lawns, apply a header strip at each side. For irregular shaped lawns, apply a header strip around the edge, starting in one corner and then finishing back at the start. You can then start your stripes 3 meters inside, avoiding trampling on the borders. To ensure consistent coverage, place packs approximately 3 meters apart as a guide. If the product setting requires two or more passes over the lawn, cover the area in different directions, crisscross, as this will avoid trem lights between each row when no product has fallen. Ok, now we've got the spreader set up. Let's fill the hopper and I'll show you how it works. Our granular products differ in size due to the different formulations, so the spreader has to have a range of settings to allow for smooth and even product coverage. So it is always important to select the correct spreader setting, otherwise you will under or over apply. It has 10 spreader settings found on this rate control housing or micrometer. The micrometer can be twisted to show a series of numbers, so you can easily select the correct spreader setting. Pull the on-off handle device to the off position, with the lever positioned away from the handle. A visual check is that the new holes in the hopper do not open. Select the spreader setting from the back of the lawn treatment or grass seed packs, or on our lovethegarden.com website. For this demonstration, we're using Miracle Grow Evergreen Premium no rake moss remover lawn food. To fill the hopper, always place the spreader on a level surface and not on the lawn. You want to avoid excess product falling into the lawn. Fill the spreader evenly up to three quarters of its capacity. Notice there's a handy visual guide in here, a line which separates smooth and rough surface. Apply the product back and forth in the longest direction, shutting off the spreader when reaching the header at the end of the strip. Open the spreader again when moving off the header onto the next strip. To avoid missed areas, steer smoothly around obstacles, keeping the wheel away from any area that you do not wish to treat. As you push the spreader, it dispenses the product in a wide strip of approximately 3 meters. Due to the spread of this product, we would recommend that the customer does not use this spreader on a windy day. We would always advise they wait until the wind has died down because if the granules are blown onto a flower bed, they might harm the plants. When the application is finished, make sure any product is brushed off your shoes before stepping onto pavement, etc. If the lawn was wet before application, make sure your shoes are clean and dry before stepping onto pavement. On an annual basis, we recommend checking the calibration of the spreader. You should also check the calibration after any maintenance has been carried out. The micrometer is like an elastic band and can deteriorate over time. New evergreen spreaders are calibrated at the factory, so no need to do this on the first use. To check the calibration, adjust the micrometer setting to 30. Squeeze the on-off control lever, 
hold the lever tight against the handle to fully open the gates at the base of the hopper. Look inside the hopper base. Check the alignment of the calibration line that is molded into the surface of the shutoff plate. Check that this line is aligned with the back edge of the hopper opening. To adjust the alignment, adjust the bottom of the calibration cable. It's important to maintain your spreader to ensure that it lasts for many years. Here are some tips to get the best out of your spreader. You should never leave product in the spreader. Instead, carefully pour leftover product back into the original packaging, seal tightly and store in a dry place. After each use, wash the spreader thoroughly to remove all product clinging to the spreader, particularly around the axle and agitator. Hot water may be required to remove stubborn residues. After washing, dry thoroughly. Lubricate the axle bushings regularly using a light spray lubricant. It's important not to use heavy oils or grease as they can attract debris which can cause premature wear. Store the spreader and product in a dry location.